All right, this is second grade math. We are starting topic 13. This is more addition, subtraction, and length. So all of topic 12, we spent a lot of time um, measuring and comparing, and then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna put it into math equations. So this is just an introduction to the unit. It talks about a math and science project you can do that talks about length. But we're gonna go through and actually review our vocabulary. So let's go ahead and do that first. Circle the measuring unit that is better to estimate the length of a room. So if we want to, we want the biggest piece, um, biggest unit. So we've got meters and centimeters. Well, I know in a centimeter, centi means a hundred. So that's going to be really tiny. A hundred of these makes up one of these. So we know a meter is going to be larger. And a meter stick is similar in length to a yardstick. So we know that a meter is going to be better because it's a bigger unit. Okay, circle the number of feet in a yard. So again, this is a review. There's three feet in a yard. Okay, number three. The clock shows the time a math class begins. Circle AM or PM. AM means in the morning and PM means after lunch or in the evenings. So they're gonna be doing math. Now this is 10. Is this gonna be 10 in the morning when you'd be at school or 10 at night? 10 in the morning is when you would be at school. Okay, okay estimate. Estimate the length of the eraser in centimeters. And again, we are just going to estimate. That means an educated guess. So I'm not gonna say it's 400 centimeters, but I'm gonna kind of break it up a little bit and that looks, I think if I kind of divide it like this, about one little cube, one, two, three, four, it's about four cubes or four centimeters. Okay, now we're gonna compare. We're gonna do our greater than, less than, equal to with our big alligator signs. Remember the alligator always wants to eat the bigger number, okay? A sidewalk is 632 yards long. A jogging trail is 640 yards long. So now we're gonna compare is 632 greater than, less than, or equal to 640? Well, I know right away it's not equal to because they aren't the same numbers. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, is I'm gonna draw the alligator eating the larger number. 640 is larger, okay? So when I read it, I would read 632 is less than 640, okay? All right, look at our rectangles here. Label the two missing lengths of the sides of the rectangle. So they're gonna be the same on each side that is parallel. So if this one is four centimeters, that one's also gonna be four centimeters. And if this one is three centimeters, this one over here is also gonna be three centimeters. Okay, let's take a look at our word cards. And again, you're welcome to kind of cut these out if you'd like to. Um, we know that a hundred is made up of 10 of our 10 sticks. A thousand is made up of 10 of our hundreds squares. When talking about digits, digits is just a name for numbers. How many digits? We have 43. How many digits? We have one, two digits. In the number 815, we have one, two, three digits. There's three numbers that make up 815. Our place value chart, so if we have the number 348, it's really made up of eight ones, four tens, and three hundreds. Our expanded form is when we take it and separate it out. So again, this is a big review from earlier. 400 is how many hundreds, 60 is how many tens, and five is how many ones, and that equals 465. And there's standard form. Standard form means just the regular way that we, we talk about numbers when we do it, okay? So on the back of these flashcards, you can talk about numbers are made up of one or more. And on the back, we have digits, okay? Digits, so again, it's just a review. 10 100s make, well, let's take a look. We have 10 100s here, it makes a thousand. Makes one, thousand and ten tens one two three four five six seven eight nine ten makes one one hundred okay all right blank is a way to write a number using only its digits so right here standard form standard 
form, okay? Blank is a way to write a number showing the place value of each digit. So if I flip that over, we know that's gonna be expanded form. Expanded form. And finally, a blank matches each digit of a number with its place. And we know that's a place value chart. We write a place value chart. So these are just a review if you'd like to use it. So let's go ahead and do our lesson 13-1. We're gonna be adding and subtracting with measurements. What is the total distance around the blue rectangle in centimeters? Show your work. Did you add or subtract? So we need to go through and add each part in centimeters. So you're gonna to need to get your ruler out. This here is 12 centimeters. And this side here is six centimeters, okay? And I know that this side here is going to be the same as this side here. So that is also going to be 12 centimeters. And if this is six centimeters here, this is also going to be six centimeters here because they don't change at all. So we only have to measure one side, but we know that side is going to be exactly the same measurement, okay? Now we need to add them. So I have six plus 12 plus six plus 12. So we can think of some different ways that we can go through and add these. I know that six plus six here is 12. So really we're adding 12 plus 12 plus 12. So again, you can do it however you'd like to. You can do 12 plus 12 plus 12. We can stack it and add them all together if you'd like to. Two plus two is four, plus two more is six, and one, two, three is 36. So I know the distance around the blue rectangle is 36 centimeters, okay? I'll give you a second to kind of copy that down. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back side of this. We'll start with the comic strip at the top. The book is nine inches long and six inches wide. So here we have nine long, six wide. What is the distance around the front cover of the book? So we wanna see what this side is and that side, we wanna know the total. We want to add all four sides. So I know if this side is six inches, that will also be six inches. And if that is nine, the other side will also be nine. So you're going to go through and add them however you would like to. This one is making kind of groups of 10. So they did a 19 plus 12 and they added the tens together. They kind of broke it up into expanded form. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. Okay, and this shows another one about how much longer the teacher's arm is than the child's arm. So the teacher's arm is 66 centimeters and the child's arm is 47 centimeters. And so they went through and they subtracted to find the difference of 19. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Do you understand? Explain how to find the distance around a square part. So first of all, I know it's a square. It's a square part that's two miles long on each side. So two miles, two miles, two miles, two miles. We're just gonna add. This is called the perimeter around the edge. So two, four, six, eight. I know this equals eight miles, okay? What is the distance around this baseball card? It is seven centimeters by 10 centimeters. So I know if this is seven centimeters, this is also gonna be seven centimeters. And if that's 10 centimeters, this is also gonna be 10 centimeters. So now I need to add. 10 here, plus seven here, plus 10 here, plus seven here, equals 34. Okay, the distance around is 34 centimeters. And again, you may have to break this up into other parts. Like for instance, I know that 10 plus 10 is 20, and I know seven plus seven is 14, so I know that 20 plus 14 equals 34. So look for some shortcuts, and uh, that will help you out in solving these problems. Okay, let's take a look at this. What is the distance around the puzzle? Well, it only gives us two sides, but I know the top and the bottom are going to be the same. So if the top is 15, the bottom is also 15 centimeters. And if a side is 12, the other side is going to be 12. Sorry, I read at inches, not centimeters. So let's add it together. It's going to be 12 plus 15 plus 12 
plus 15. So we can come up with some strategies or you can just stack them and add them. But I know that 15 plus 15 equals 30 and 12 plus 12 equals 24. So I am going to add those together. 0 plus 4 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, we get an answer of 54 inches. <clears throat> okay, the next page is our independent practice page, so you can do this one on your own and come back and check your answers, or you can go ahead and do it with me now if you'd like to, if it's a little bit tricky for you. Okay, so we're still going to be focusing on the same things. What is the distance around the door? Well, we need this side and this side. And we know top and bottom are always going to be the same. If the top is 3, the bottom is going to be 3. And the side, if this is 7, it's also going to be 7. So I'm going to do 7 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3. Okay? I know that 7 plus 3 equals 10. And another 7 plus 3 equals 10. So I know that it's going to be equal to 20. Or 20 feet is the distance all the way around the door. Okay, let's take a look at this one. What is the distance around the cell phone? So this is two inches by four inches. The top and bottom are always going to be the same. Two inches, two inches. The sides are always going to be the same. Four inches. Okay, now we're going to add them. Two inches plus four inches plus two inches plus four inches, right? Two plus four plus two plus four equals. Well, let's see. I can do this a couple different ways, but I know that two plus four is six and two plus four is six. So six plus six is 12, so I know it's 12 inches all the way around my cell phone. How much longer is the red scarf than the blue scarf, okay? So on this one, we're actually gonna be comparing. We wanna know how much longer this is. So I know this is 60 inches, and this one's 45 inches, so I'm gonna need to subtract to get that. So it's gonna be 60 minus 45 equals. For this one, I'm just gonna go through and stack it. 60 minus 45. So zero minus five. If I have zero, can I take away five from zero? If I have nothing, can I take away five? Nope. So I'm gonna have to regroup. That becomes 10. I'm taking a group of 10 over, unbundling it, making it there. I had six groups of 10. Now I have five groups of 10. 10 minus five is five and five minus four is one. So it is 15 inches longer. This amount right here is 15 inches longer than the blue scarf. Okay, algebra, I love doing algebra. It's a fun math mystery. We have to solve some problems. Okay, what is the length of the shorter side of the rectangle? Oh, look at this. They only give us one measurement. So let's see, I know the top side is 20 and the bottom side has to be the same, so it's 20, okay? We have to figure out how we can figure out what the sides are. Now, it lets us know the total. So we have our 20 and our 20 here. I know that 20 plus 20 equals 40, correct? Equals 40. And the total is 60. So if I have a total of 60, I'm going to subtract 40 from that. 60 minus 40 is 20. But four sides wouldn't be 20 because that would be 20, 40, 60, 80. So both sides have to equal up to 20. So something plus something equals 20, and it needs to be the exact same number. So I could do numbers like 15 plus 5 equals 20. That's true, but they have to be the same numbers on both sides. And the only two numbers that you can add up together to equal 20 is 10. So I know that each side, each of the shorter sides is worth 10, and it's 10 centimeters. So I'm going to check it, though, because I need to make sure this equals to 60. 20 plus 10 is 30, 30 plus 20 is 50, 50 plus 10 is 60. So that's how we solve that one. It's kind of just thinking a little bit harder to try and solve a math mystery and taking a look at the different steps. Okay, let's take a look at this. It says, first of all, you need to decide if you're gonna add or subtract, okay? Then write an equation to help solve each problem, okay? There's two sunflowers. Ashley's sunflower is 70 inches tall. So here's Ashley's sun, 70 inches tall. Kwame's sunflower is 60 inches tall. How much taller is Ashley's sunflower than Kwame's? So we're not going to add them together. We don't know how much. We don't want to know how much both of them are together. We want to know how much taller this one is. So we're actually going to subtract to find the difference 
and height. Difference is another way of saying subtraction. 70 inches minus 60 inches equals what? Well, I know 70 minus 60 is 10. So her sunflower is 10 inches taller. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Figure out if we're gonna add or subtract. Ben measures the length of a leaf and a plant. So he's measuring the leaf and the plant. Uh, the leaf is 15 centimeters. The plant is 37 centimeters. How much shorter is the leaf than the plant? So we're comparing the two. So we're going to need to subtract on this one. So I know it's going to be 37 minus 15 equals. And I'm just going to stack it over here. 37 minus 15. So I want them in order of place value. So one's lined up, tens lines up. Seven minus five is two and three minus one is two, so I know it is 22 centimeters shorter. Okay, let's do our higher order thinking. These are, these are fun too, they're kind of like a math mystery. Tyler threw a ball 42 feet and then 44 feet. Sanjay threw a ball 38 feet and then 49 feet. Who threw the longer distance in all? Show your work. So I'm gonna do a T for Tyler and an S for Sanjay. Tyler threw a ball 42 feet and then another 44 feet. Sanjay threw a ball 38 feet and then another 49 feet. So we wanna get the total. So we would definitely, when we're doing totals, we need to be adding together. So I know that two plus four is six and four plus four is eight. Eight plus nine is 17. So we have to regroup because we can't have more than one number in each place value line. And then one plus three is four, and four plus four is eight. Now take a look at this. So Sanjay threw the longer distance in all just by one inch. So Sanjay's our correct answer on this one. And then our assessment, again, this has the common core symbol, so this lets us know that we'll have questions very similar to this on um, our assessment at the end of this unit. What is the distance around the place map? So it only gives us two sides. So I'm gonna have you pause the video, solve it, and then come back and check it. So if this side is 11 inches, that side is also gonna be 11 inches. If this side is 17, that's also gonna be 17, okay? So what is the distance around the place map? So now we have to add this all. 11 plus 17 plus 11 plus 17, okay? So you might figure out different ways that you wanna solve it. You might wanna solve this first and then add on there. I know that 11 plus 17, one plus seven is eight, one plus one is two, is 28. So this is 28, really plus 28. So if I add 28 plus 28, eight plus eight is 16, we'll regroup. And then one plus two is three, plus two more is five. So we know our answer is going to be 56 inches. All right, great job, everybody.